Okay. Let's take a look at Teak 3D, which says compose and decompose a fraction A over B with a numer numerator greater than zero and less than or equal to B as a sum of parts 1 over B. Let's make sure that we understand exactly what this standard is saying. So, for the denominator, we will be using values of either 2, 3, 4, 6, or 8. And we know that we're going to be using a denominator with one of these values because of other third grade standards. For the numerator, we need to be looking at a number that is greater than zero, but less than the denominator. So an example of this type of fraction is 5 over 6. The 6 is appropriate for the denominator. It's one of the values that we can use for the denominator. And our numerator is less than the denominator, but greater than zero. So this is an example of a fraction that we could use for this standard. A non-example would be 7 over 6 because although the 6 is appropriate to use in the denominator, 7 is greater than the denominator which is not appropriate for this standard. So now that we know what type of fractions we can use, let's look at how Cuisinaire rods can be used to teach this standard. I'm going to use a blue rod as my hole. I am also going to use three green rods which are the same length as the hole. Since I have three equal parts here, each of these green rods can be re represented as one-third. Let's count our thirds. We have one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, which is the same as our whole. We can represent this as the sum of parts or one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals three-thirds which is the same as our whole. Now, using our, the same rods I'm going to look at a different situation. I'm going to remove one of the green rods. So now we have one-third, two-thirds. So again representing as the sum of parts of one over B and we know each piece is one-third. This can be represented as one-third plus one-third, which is the same as two-thirds. One-third, two-thirds. Now, let's look at a scenario for this standard. The model shows a brownie cut into several equal pieces. You eat two pieces of brownie and your brother eats three pieces of brownie. How much of the brownie was eaten? So, I want to use some concrete models to help with this situation, so I'm going to use color tiles. And I'm going to use my color tiles to represent the equal pieces of brownie. So first, let's determine how many equal pieces that we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces. 
So that means each piece is one sixth of the whole. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths, which is the same as our whole. Let's go back to our situation. So if you eat two pieces of brownie, and your brother eats three pieces of brownie, how much of the brownie was eaten? Again, we know that each piece is one-sixth, so we're going to first count. One-sixth, two-sixth, three-sixth, four-sixth, five-sixths of the brownie was eaten. Now I'm going to represent that as the sum of the parts of the whole. So one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth plus one-sixth equals five-sixths. Five-sixths of the brownie was eaten.